What's up, YouTube? Wyndon Wrench is here with another episode of Blowing Smoke. Episode 50-something. I don't know, 52, 53? Uh, I think it's 52. Yeah, Hold something on, like give that. me two seconds. Uh, oh. 52. I didn't put the episode on the last one. That's weird. I always um, say it in the beginning, but I don't know. Episode 52, yes. This is episode 52? Because the last one was 51. I did not put oh, the episode okay. in, but it's episode, yeah, it's episode 52. Okay, well, welcome to episode 52. Wee! 52 a, episodes of us talking about nothing to are, you guys. Are we ever going to start a new season? Like, season 2, episode 50, or, like, I don't start, know. like, episode 53, but, like, season 2, episode 1. Like just randomly stop at a random number. I was like, what's the point of doing that? I don't know. I don't know. Well, this week is going to be a super short episode because literally nothing at all happened to anyone this week. So <sighs> Nothing happened. So Yeah, nothing to talk about. So, it. hey, thank you guys for watching. Go check out uh, this video. Right <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to? I mean, I'm sure if you follow us on Instagram or uh, it's probably Instagram is the only one that has any... Yeah. Yeah. Because YouTube hasn't put anything out yet. Or, but like Twitter, you didn't say anything on Twitter? Or no, did, our okay. Twitter matches our Instagram, so. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, well, if you follow us on Instagram, you might already know what happened. But if you only watch us on YouTube, I'll let Mike, uh, it's story time. Story time with Mike. Yeah, it's going to be mostly me talking this week. So, um, like Craig was saying, if you don't know, uh, and if you don't follow us on Instagram, what are you doing? Go follow us on Instagram <laughs> at Win and Wrenches. Link down in the description below. Um, but uh, yeah, I got rear-ended on Sunday, <laughs> and not in the good way. Is there a good way to get rear-ended? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, what happened? Craig wasn't having the best day. Uh, went over to. Uh, I was going over check on him make sure everything was good and what i remember is i remember leaving here and getting on one freeway getting off one freeway to get onto another one and then i woke up in the hospital and to be clear he was rear-ended while he was on his bike yes yes i was on the he bike. he wasn't yes, in yes. the car he was on scarlet yes i, I was on the bike i got rear-ended on the bike um on the freeway uh, I will, uh, maybe we'll shoot like a, maybe I'll shoot like a short uh, go around of the bike and mm -hmm. I'll add it in. So actually let's go ahead and do that. I'll add that in right here. Um, yeah, so you just saw the bike. That's what happened. Or I got rear-ended. So, like I said, I don't remember much of it. Uh, I can't go in right now. I can't go into a whole lot of detail of what happened. Obviously, you can see the bike and you can see the damage that's done to it. Pretty much the whole rear end is uh, done. Not sure if the frame... It's tweaked, not sure if the, if we're, we keep looking this way because the bike's literally sitting right here. Um, not sure if the swing arm is tweaked or what. Uh, the handlebars are nowhere tweaked. The rear fender's just done. Both backs are done. The trunk, done. Uh, the exhaust. Exhaust, the whole exhaust is done. Even though it's just the rear end, it pushed the exhaust forward, which bent the rest of the exhaust. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a mess. <laughs> Super sad. So now literally I'm just waiting on, uh, insurance and paperwork and stuff to see where, uh, we go from here. Uh, depending, uh, see if I try and rebuild or just get a new bike. Uh, we apologize for the break in videos and not posting every day to Instagram like we did before. Uh, <laughs> 
I was it's, literally... It's been, it's been a rough week for Mike. Yeah, it, it's, it has been a rough week. I've literally been sitting at home doing nothing, trying to heal up as fast as I can so I can get back to work and just get back to a normal life. Um, but, I mean, other than that, not really much has happened. Uh, actually, Sunday, Sunday is when I got in the accident. And then actually Saturday, we put the new exhaust on your bike. Oh yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. Um, do we filmed some of that, right? We filmed all of it. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> that should be another video. What am I doing? I'm getting... Coming out. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, Annabelle has her new custom exhaust on. Did run into a little snag. Um, the very like, just part of the exhaust is touching the frame. So I haven't really been riding her just because I don't want to fucking melt that two fucking metals together. I don't want to weld it to the frame. So I ordered a, a wrap, exhaust wrap for it, and some new gaskets. I mean, well, so we're pretty much well. What we might do since you ordered that, what we'll do is we'll wait to put that video out until we get that in. So we just kind of combine those two videos into one. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Instead of doing one and yeah. then redoing it again, you know? Yeah, so I should, uh, I was hoping to get the, the wrap yesterday, but it didn't come in. So uh, it's saying that it should be here on Monday. So take the exhaust back off, wrap it back up, throw it back on, and should be good, good to go. Get back out on the road. Yeah. So uh, that. I do have three videos lined up. Um, one was for my hand guards, which I'll still put out. I don't care. Uh, Those hand guards fucking held up, dude. Yeah. Uh, BLM.Z on Instagram. Go check him out. He makes these custom hand guards. And literally, only w- my somehow my driver's side one got bent. And I can actually bend it back into place. So they got bent a little bit, but if I want to reuse them, if I end up rebuilding there, um, I'll be able to rebend them back into place, do a little touch-up paint, and I'm good to go with those. So that one's coming out. Yeah, so uh, that's just, uh, who'd you say you got those from? Uh, got off of Instagram. Um, his name on Instagram is at blm.z. Uh, I'll tag him down in the description below. Uh, you have to go through his eBay account. He custom makes these these hand guards. Yes, it's from the UK. So if anything, Mike just tested out his hand guards in a really roundabout way. Yeah. So <laughs> I mean, there's probably other ways you could test out hand guards, but yeah, yeah. I mean, you in all you in all in, bro. Your, your hand guards definitely work. They definitely hold up. <laughs> <laughs> so that that is, yeah. That's your hands sure. aren't weren't no fucked like, up. It's right? literally just my wrist. Your wrist, yeah. I was. Um, to be clear, I was wearing all my gear. I was wearing my boots, my pants. Actually, these your, boots and these pants. Your long sleeve uh, gloves. My I was wearing a shirt, a long sleeve, my vest, my gloves, and my half helmet. Uh, that's I was wearing my half helmet because it's so hot outside, and that's why I got a little bit of a face rash or the road rash on my face. But I will be going back to a full time uh, full face full face helmet now. So no, no more half shells for me. Uh, not because I don't want to, but just because. Safety first. Yeah, safety first. I already know. <laughs> Check the rear views. Um, but yeah, I, I think the only reason I got this is because I was wearing a long sleeve uh, flannel shirt. And uh, actually the buttons, it, it's right there, but the, <laughs> the buttons uh, broke and kind of came up. So the sleeve just kind of came up and I think that's why I got this. Granted, this is very minor compared to what I've seen on other videos and stuff like that. But I mean, it's still it's still road rash. So yeah, you know, like like uh, like they say, you know, there's only two kinds of bikers: those have went down, those are going down. So I've officially went down. No, uh, I think I've earned my crashing suck patch. <laughs> I think I've earned that. Even I mean, I did crash. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say about it. There, uh, of course, there'll be uh, future updates uh, coming along with uh, other videos and stuff. And there, I mean, hell, there may be a whole new build series now. <laughs> there may be a whole That'll new. That'll be a long one. Uh, depending on 
obviously depending on insurance and stuff like that. Like I said, I can't go into a whole lot of detail, but depending on insurance and stuff like that, um, we may have a whole new build series of rebuilding Scarlet from the rear ends forward. <laughs> so we'll, we'll just go from that. And if I do end up keeping her and I do end up rebuilding her, uh, I will literally just get her back to a riding state and then uh, ride her and then ride. Uh, the paint may not match, stuff may not match, stuff may not be finished, but I don't care. I want to ride. Um, I, I, I literally can't ride right now because I was moving a bike in the garage and <laughs> Craig can testify this, I was moving a bike and then like my bicep just kind of locked up on me and I definitely don't want to be riding and that happens. So still got, you know, another week or two of healing up and getting back to a hundred percent and then we should be good. So that was my eventful week and that's what happened. <laughs> um, I appreciate the support out there uh, from the Instagram community and YouTube community, everybody, everybody who out there follows. I appreciate it, appreciate the support, appreciate the kind words everyone has been putting out there. It's awesome. Uh, we definitely are a small YouTuber family community and you can tell, you know, it's, it's a big deal. So uh, do appreciate that. It means a lot, especially to us small YouTubers. So, uh, yeah, and a uh, big shout out, <laughs> I posted, I don't know if you saw the picture I posted of the, the DFD. Oh, yeah. Uh, I posted that picture, they reposted that picture, and they personally say, you know, hey man, I'm glad you're okay, I'm glad you're good, that meant a lot, so, DFD, big shout out to y'all, that was <laughs> awesome. You guys have reposted like three or four pictures of ours, and it's awesome. So, that was just another actual... DFD picture, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, man. Yeah, I think I, that I think that's good enough for this week. That that's that's S the big news for this week. Stay safe out there, guys, especially on two wheels. You know they're not looking out for us, so yeah, watch out for them. You know, always always check. You know, like we said in the past, as far as motorcycle safety goes, go over your, your T clocks. Do all your checks before you leave the house, you know, all your quick checks before you leave the house and always check what's in front of you, what's behind you and to the sides, you know, there's not, I mean, that's about all we can do and then we just watch out for each other. So, uh, again, updates to come. I'm sure next week's episode, there'll be more updates to come mm -hmm. on what's, uh, as far as what's going on with the bike and uh stuff like that so i think that's it all right you anything else to add no all right so the video of craig is the most recent video i put up the video over me is the one that youtube judged for you and if you haven't yet go ahead and hit us with that fist bump and push that subscribe button and remember remember always keep the shiny side up thanks guys